Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please like this video. Very important to like the video. That way we are encouraged to put out more reliable and authentic news for you all. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section as well. The PDP right now, they are trying so hard to convince the general public that they have resolved their differences and there is no crisis any longer in PDP. But we are not buying it. <laughs> we are not buying it. By the look of things, there is no end in sight for the crisis within the party right now. Not until, you, not until you've been able to successfully elect a new chairman for the party and then, you know, disciplining the, the necessary people, the prominent members that you have been avoiding to discipline, not until you do all those things, are we going to believe that the crisis has, has ended? The Olagun Soyo in Lola led reconciliation committee set up to address internal disputes within the National Working Committee, NWC of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has successfully concluded its work after a three-hour meeting with the factions involved, Uin Lola, a former Ogun State governor, announced that the conflict within the NWC has been resolved, following the party, allow, pardon me, allowing the party to move forward. He also mentioned that the committee would present its findings and recommendations to the PDP Governors Forum later in the evening. We are pleased to report that, by the grace of God, we have resolved the differences within the National Working Committee. We are now united, which is essential for the progress of the PDP. Owen Lola stated, however, when asked about the specific issues addressed, he declined to provide details, citing their internal, internal nature. Concerning the controversy, the con concerning the controversial National Executive Committee neck meeting scheduled for Thursday, support supported by a faction loyal to Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohammed, Oin Lola clarified that it was outside the scope of his committee's mandate. Our focus was strictly on resolving NWC issues, and I'm pleased to say that our task is complete, he said. An anonymous NWC member confirmed the successful conclusion of the reconciliation process, adding that the committee's findings would be submitted to the PDP Governors Forum for final approval. The final decision is expected to be made at the forum's meeting later that evening. You, you, or what are your thoughts? What do you think about this? Do you think that it is actually true, according to Inola? that the crisis within the PDP is over and they've been able to appease both parties, that is, all of the factions involved. Do you think they've successfully done that? Or this one is just a way to allay fears and let people think that things all is well, where whereas all is not well? Sunday, Okoli says, Oh, in Lola and all other reprobates will end in hellfire. Ha. Huh. <laughs> what did Oin Lola do to you? Abiodo Olusegun says, No party in Nigeria could maintain stamina like PDP when considering levels of storms they are passing through. I pray for the wisdom entail so they could come back on their feet as a formidable house. Hmm. Now, by, now, by how many storms that they've been able to weather through? Hmm. Reverend Okiowo Christopher says, They should allow good luck, Jonathan to come forward, then Nigerians will be a better place to be than old, wicked leaders. Hmm. I don't know why. Like It seems like people quickly forget. Is it that? I don't, I don't understand. Right now, uh, people are making Jonathan to seem like a saint, probably because we have seen worse. Now, Jonathan's regime is now like they, they learn besides all of these new people. But I want to say that. Is it that people have forgotten? Jonathan is not a saint too. I'll be honest, I don't forget You've forgotten the controversy surrounding the looted Abasha funds. The Abasha funds that was returned to Nigeria and given to, uh, is it the chief of defense staff as a, at the time? The minister for defense at the time. What was his name? It has escaped me. And then the money was relooted. Money meant to buy uh, firearms for the military and the police officers. The money was relooted. 
Have you people forgotten? You've forgotten how patience Jonathan was actually the president, the one running the show and calling the shots. Maybe because we are now experiencing a much other times in Tinobu's regime and the Buhari regime. Nigeria now feels like uh, Jonathan. Good luck. Jonathan was a saint and his regime was, you know, a breeze. Like we were enjoying during Good Luck Jonathan's regime. Please, please, once again. <laughs> Good Lord, Jonathan has done his own time. Let him go and rest. Let him go and rest in his house. So, Biko, don't call any other uh, person. Someone who has... Uh, it's as if we don't even have any other people that are qual more qualified than Good Lord, Jonathan in this country because I've seen this. I've heard, or I've heard of all of... I've heard of this countless times saying, Good Lord, Jonathan, come back. Good Lord, Jonathan, come back. And I'm fed up. I'm tired of hearing it again. Please, I don't even want to hear anything like that. How will you say good luck? Jonathan should come back for what? You are forgotten. People quickly forget. Oh. People quickly forget. We quickly forget. I did love what James says. But have they convinced Atiku not to contest in 2027 and any other northern politician in PDP for that matter? Hmm. I think one other way that PDP can solve their problem is to just zone their presidential tickets to the to the south, to the southeast. They should just zone it because that would really help them a lot. That way, they would even have a chance. I like that they give them expo. That would even help them and give them a chance against Peter Obi from the Labour Party if they are able to zone to the southeast, because those are the people, those are the ones that have not tasted these seats before. Those are the ones that have been deprived of the privilege of you know attaining the presidential seats. So if they have been given this opportunity, actually from PDP, they would have a chance even to against Peter Obi, even against Tinubu himself. Number one, Tinubu has not done well. Even the Yoruba people say don't tire for Tinubu right now. So Yoruba people would even be willing to vote for someone from another ethnic group. I'm telling you at this point. Adere Milekun says, PDP structures deserve appreciation from sanctification within each other individual supportive potentially assistant role in their satisfactorily responsibility hey english is hard no command of a stop god help me their cooperation is also advantageous inevitable peaceful within a deeper understanding with deeper uh, inevitable peaceful within a deeper understanding of each other's advantages and personal valuable interests within individuals benefits consciously prince oye oyinlola's conscious contributions are very advantageously beneficial beneficial for useful positive possibilities towards convenient solutions oh my gosh i can't believe i just read all of that and i i did not understand one single thing Obasi Williams says, if you have Echo Bank or Zenith Bank account of Nigeria that can take from 10 million naira above at once. Hmm. Uh, we are not even here for that. Please, let's keep. Ayodeji Samuel says, no reconciliation until Wiki shows a stand. It should be either in PDP or APC. The choice is is but it can't be in both at the same time. It's an anti-party. Also, it's a betrayal if he is not loyal to his employer as a minister. So he should be bold enough to choose one, his present job as a minister in APC, or awful polit political ambition in PDP. Tenobo stood strong in opposition and waited for his time. He never put one leg here and there. So we should learn from him you or what are your thoughts on this let's have them in the comment section thank you very much for always listening and watching i will see you in my next video bye for now